So one learns, you know, initially you feel very hurt, hmm. you retaliate, you also, you feel you have to be assertive, sometimes you also become aggressive. But then, let me be frank, I found men are quite weak. And then there are many cases where basically one phone call and you have to let people go and all that because these people are interfering from the top. Yeah, but most so of can us… Can I call you also like that? No, so most of us <laughs> have now, uh, like… If I get a call from you, Cyrus, mm-hmm. that don't insist on um, the custody of X. Uh, so I would say, receive the call from Cyrus. Mm. And he's insisting that I do not seek the custody. Mm. I, however, do not agree. One, two, three. Oh. So tomorrow I will expose you. Write letter to the government. See, people like you sitting here. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I, I am representing this horrible politician. Huh? Okay, on Cyrus says, ah, first I have applied for anticipatory bail in case this interview ke beech mein kuch ho gaya to. And I come from a line of lawyers, so I think we should be okay. But uh, jokes apart, great honor to have. Uh, the book is called Madam Commissioner. It's the extraordinary life of Indian Police Chief uh, Meera Chadha Burwankar. Let me explain. Uh, Meera with an N. Yes. But wo to hai pronunciation of Meera, jisa Meera bhai, right? No, Meera with a bindi. So Meera, there's a little no there. Yeah. So let's learn how to say it correctly because she's commissioner. So we can't take a chance. So it's actually Miran. 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 Parsis will never get it right. Or kuch pet name hai because I think you have Punjabi descent so there must be a pet name. No, no, no. It's Miran only. That's yes. not there in the book. Uh, I wanted more of that a little <laughs> bit. Yaar. But uh, what an extraordinary story it is. Uh, I mean from where to where. Let's start. Uh, lots of things to talk about. I want to go into the early life first because uh, I think that's very important. 1980 IPS batch. You were the only female. 81. 80, 80, 81. Only female uh, uh, carder officer, so to speak. And it's, it's people don't understand how difficult that must have been. There are lots of interesting tidbits here and there about dealing with all these people who don't even know they're being chauvinists sometimes and the way they're dealing. I think they knew it very well. Huh? They, huh? Just because I was alone and huh. uh, well, they went ahead with various remarks which if made today, hmm would lead to some disciplinary action. My God, today they'll be very careful. Yeah, they'll be over, overtly patronizing like we are. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I want to just dwell on that for a second. This background is, uh, dad was also in the police force, right? Punjab police. Punjab police. So why, is that the reason? Why would you first want to go there? Because in, in 1980s, 1970s, not so popular amongst uh, ladies to take up uh, IPS. So what, that, was it because of dad? What was the r- real reason? No, actually dad said that civil services are a good option. Hmm. My sister opted for IRS, that's income tax. Hmm. And first chance when I got in, I had opted for Indian audits and accounts. But that's that's considered good for women and girls. I realized I had no... Interest in accounts, yeah. yeah. Interest, chodo heady nahi hai huh. uske liye. So then I appeared again and got into IPS. Yes, if I look back, it was dad's uniform, which hmm. was very attractive. Hmm. And but it's the second shot. But they didn't. Parents didn't try to dissuade you. Ye ladki, I won't say they'll say ladki hai, But uh, you know, like then worry that being a lady in what was typically a male jo- or dominated job at that time. Yeah, my father did say it's not the right choice. But go back to audits. Huh. Uh, no, he didn't say go back to aud- audits. So, what option tha phir? Well, maybe IFS. I don't know. Yeah, huh? but. I was very sure that one time I got audits. Huh. Huh. So now it's IPS. And but you wanted to don the uniform. You wanted to Absolutely. do what you landed up doing. Yeah. And did you imagine to reach where you reached? To be the commissioner and head of police literally? No, I think when one is young, one can't think that much ahead. But I thought it would be interesting. Soch hai. What are you thinking when you're young like that? I, I'd love to know. But most people have like engineer, MBA, whatever. They have some idea. See, you, you were just trying to cope with the situation first. Is it like that? No, I mean, like, I couldn't think of being a commissioner of police. But uh, my thinking was, say, up to donning the uniform and DCP level, SP level. Mm-hmm. But commissioner takka soch nahi tha. You could not believe what a colorful life, where all you would go, the kind of different postings you've had, the controversies here and there that you went through. And I mean, it, it covers the whole gamut from arrests, from riots. We'll talk about some specific cases. Don't want to give out the book. Go and buy the book. But we'll try and uh, get into a little bit here and there. Right up to the hangings that you witnessed as well. Under your, under your, let's say, zimedari or, I mean, it's, it's in your hands in a sense. And that's also, it's almost like a Hindi film, how that uh, uh, kasab execution takes out. But uh, we'll come back to that later. Let's go back again and talk about the interesting uh, people in your life who, unsung heroes, you can say, 
there's a Ganeshi that oh, we begin yeah. with. So take us a little bit into this world. Now keep in mind, she's a young officer in training and the only female in the circuit. And so, uh, um, see, the police training is very tough, especially the physical part. Hmm. In indoor classes, they teach us law, the management, uh, forensics. Uh, but in uh, uh, training, outdoor training, it's uh, running, of course. Then rope climbing. Obst yeah, obstacle jumping, rope climbing, rock climbing, hmm. uh, survival nights in jungle. But I've never seen my Mumbai police running up after rocks. Uh, with due respect, ma'am, I only see them standing around and the VIPs are passing and then suddenly they, they are the local, local, local and they push us along. So <laughs> change corona. I do it. I give it so much. I give it so much. And they say, Abhi nahi, Abhi nahi, Abhi nahi. Fata fat. Nick. <laughs> but they've all gone through this very really? tough, yeah, yeah, hmm. tough regime because that they feel. Uh, Character. Also, it gives you confidence to face uh, uh, all the challenges in the field and mind you, uh, the guys who are telling you laukar kara, laukar kara, hmm. they are themselves standing for say six to eight hours yeah. uh, every day and they work 14 hours a day all over India. So, I was just thinking that, you know, people must be wondering, first kya kaisa? Yeah, kind of that kind of situation. We're talking about the lower rank, uh, you know, officer. Yeah, constables. so actually we have to improve their situation. But hmm. the tough life uh, during the training days is hmm. the same for constabulary and same for IPS oh, officers. Really? Maybe guys... tougher. No, maybe tougher for us. Okay. Mm. So all these survival nights and rock climbing and horse riding and then swimming. If oh. you um, don't perform as per the standards, you get a big zero. Mm. But the good point is that though in 1981, we had the same standards for the lady officers as mm. the male officers. Today, they have realized that we should have different standards. Physical, in the physical, physical. Uh, performance. Yeah. yeah. As far as indoor is concerned, mm. it's the same. But in the physical outdoor, hmm. the standards are changed. There, there's some, I thought some very well-written bits and very open about how awkward it is to wear the swimsuit being the only female there and yeah. dealing with those guys. I was thinking this is 1981. Keep, keep, keep that in mind first. It's not 2023. It'll be hard enough then also uh, if you're the only lady in the batch and how they will not meet your eyes and not talk to you and avoid the whole situation themselves. So, I mean, you re literally went to, uh, you're like a pioneer, uncharted territory. And this book is very important, I think, for anybody, especially if you're a young lady and want to join the IPS to see who's, uh, you know, made the way for you or paved the way for you to go in next. But let's get back to Ganeshi because uh, these are things that you don't realize how important these people are in your life until you look back, I suppose, and wrote this. So when all this physical training was going on, uh, I had to change from, say, yoga clothes to, the, uh, uh, to my running clothes to a uh, uniform. Uh, then to parade uniform, wow. then dangri for uh, a firing or for transport section. So different kinds of uniforms you have to change within say 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Wow. So Ganeshi was really the backbone of organizing and imagine totally uneducated woman. Mm. But she saw for 365 days, everything, all my uniform, my shoes, mm. you know, and uniform is a difficult uh, job. You have to have your stars, you have to have your line yard. You have and, to have and you have to have everything correct, right? Otherwise, yes. the protocol is that you, it's like uh, negligence on your part. as an officer. So one, it's negligence. Huh. Second, you have to treat. If your uniform is not uh, in order, you have oh. to treat everyone. Wow. So we were so short of hmm. money those days. So now tell the Bollywood actresses who have to change with 15 people helping them only once in two days. And it's less in come or come kapre, or come kapre, or come kapre. So very different experience altogether. So Ganeshi stood by oh. me, helped me for 365 days. And she wasn't much of a talker. Uh, so she was a solid support. Therefore, she deserved not one chapter, but I've written one chapter mm. about her. But I, I guess, you know, the, when you look back, you must realize that without her, things would be more difficult. You just mentioned the physicality of the whole thing. Actually, changing. actually impossible. Impossible. Not yeah. difficult. But uh, she's given a lot of respect here in the book. Please read. It begins with her. And then we go to another guy. I, uh, I don't want to say it's comical, but for me, I, I started smiling while reading it because his name is Ustad, Yadav Ustad. Mm. Now, you've mentioned that the trainers are called Ustad. That's the, that's the way it is in our culture. Then, uh, <laughs> tell us about that experience with Yadav Ustad. So, Yadav Ustad wasn't very tall, hefty policeman. Huh. Uh, but he, and he never smiled. In fact, when I look back, hmm. I don't remember a single day. Hmm. But he was so dedicated and he saw to it that I reach up to that particular standard. And I have mentioned an incident. I found uh, rope climbing very tough. My yeah. hand used to be totally, you know, rough, rough under. 
I'm perfect for rope climbing. <laughs> so every day I leave my wife by climbing from the rope and going down quietly without her knowing when she's sleeping. Huh? Okay, she's listening. She doesn't listen. <laughs> so she may listen to your program because your important guest has come. But generally, a level of guest that comes, they don't listen. Huh? <laughs> so uh, once when I could reach the top of the rope, there was police bigel. So actually, I should have rappled down and stood straight. But sir, Ustad wanted everyone to see that Meera has reached the top. Huh. The he first said, time. Yeah, first time huh. I ever did. He said, Meera, Meera sahab, aap upar hi rahenge. Oh, 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 bata do. So the, he insisted on calling you Meera sahab. I wanted to ask you this. Because I couldn't tell if he's being tongue-in-cheek or because he's uncomfortable because he's never had a female. Uh, so he doesn't know what to say. No, I think he thought that was the right way to say Meera sahab. <laughs> really? Yeah, because... And so I he was not being funny. No, 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 not he is. He That's used to be very... Yeah. Serious about his job. So he saw to it that I'm up. All the officers around, some playing tennis, some doing some other physical activity. They looked up because he shouted, Veera sahab, aap upar hi rahenge. Everybody looked up. I thought this was, you know, his moment. Because if he hadn't worked hard on me, I wouldn't have been able to. Be Can I, in my wisdom, help the Indian police uh, manual about all this? See, females generally have stronger lower body and weaker upper body. And males have stronger upper body. So they should have different things depending on the gender. Also. Now they do have. Yeah. Ah, because rope climbing is very yeah. male. Uh, I would think we have advantage in that. For example, and uh, anything which involves more leg work and hip work and all that, the female will have the example. Uh, will have the advantage in that. Of course, if, this doesn't mean that LGBTQ cannot uh, join. We are, <laughs> we are very woke now. Uh, Ma'am, I don't want to take any chances. I don't know line today. Okay, so then you... Uh, I don't want to rush through this because this is the whole process. Of, did, did you ever think of quitting? Oh, not at all. On the, on the harder days and all that? No, 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 no. Hmm. But I used to feel, uh, I'll faint. Every day hmm. I used to feel, Aaj to kuch ho jayega, I will faint. Like behosh? Haan. But physical, who physical, nahin, physical, This yeah, is physical, not very, mental. Haan. No, mental class, I was sleeping in mental class. With all those exercises right, and tough right, training, right. I used to sleep in the class. Hmm. Uh, but because I was so scared, I'll faint. I didn't miss my outdoor even for a single day. Hmm. But I never thought of quitting. And and where would you rank in the class then? Middle. Middle. Yeah. So that's another lesson for everyone. People who go to the top in the class never achieve anything. Try and be in the middle. Yeah, bottom be okay, but never top. <laughs> I have research, I have data on this. Most top rankers, they're nowhere to be seen. They're sitting in some Instagram and talking to their old friends on some WhatsApp. That's it. So horrible. Are you on WhatsApp, ma'am? Yeah, I am. Oh, great. So I can WhatsApp you if I have trouble in Malbar Hill. I live right next to the chief minister. <laughs> you know, I'm fighting with the cops the all the chief, time. The chief minister will help you. Why, why <laughs> dial? Oh. You can't reach him. There are seven degrees of separation. His cousin, hai, chamchas, hai, bodyguards. Hai. Can you explain? But now? you are Cyrus. Yeah, but he, he is uh, Shinde. So <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> they don't put Saib after me for some reason. But uh, just coming back to that, I don't know why the police force has to uh, do this VIP business for all our great leaders. And this is not Mumbai specific, all across India. In fact, now in parts of the world, where the entire force is under pressure because some great man is traveling. They've got their bodyguards. They've got enough people in the safari suits and all that. Why do they have to take up the whole force? Why can't we do something where the civic society doesn't get interrupted? No, I, I totally agree with you. I think that old system of root bandabas can be done away with. Hmm. But because in police also, we have a very serious bureaucracy hmm. and it does not want to take any risk. Therefore, that tradition of road bandabas and our constable standing at... Uh, but also, it's, it comes back to the same question, uh, which is basically the politician is uh, in charge of the appointments. So you have I'll, to change that. No? Uh, I'll like, share one experience. I don't think there. I've... No, you no, had one. A few in, the, in the book. Yeah, but one experience when I was a spin satara, hmm. uh, the then CM used to travel a lot to uh, Kolapur, Satara, and Karad. Hmm, hmm. And I said I will not have any staff on the road for Bandabas except on the crossings. Hmm. And my special branch officer would draft the Bandabas order and place constables. I said no, it's not done. They are of no use. If something happens to the CM, one single constable, what will he do? <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't laugh. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. And the officer told me on my face, Madam, you have responsibility. I said, yes, I will take the responsibility. Oh, and what does that mean? That they, you ought to be held so, responsible if something... I mean, technically... Yeah, but actually nothing happened. Frankly, uh, we need hmm. more out-of-the-box thinkers, more uh, uh, officers ready to take risks. Nothing happened to the CM for three years. But that sub-inspector inspector could not. I Maharashtra government so much money. Two Rottweilers, good dogs and martial arts training for the politician. 
let them look after themselves it it ek desh ka nuksan hai yeah you look at 32 cars and 75 bikes and all these what are they doing save all that money i'll give you two rottweilers good strong dogs and one teach him kung fu so that in a closed situation he can use his hands and legs why also the, i would say the politicians uh, the machones will also come out a little bit i feel sometimes we are making them to you know closet it like that let them be more male more alpha let them fight themselves but i am thinking why can't we have democracy without politicians you are just sounding better and better i'll vote for you <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no we are, i know we're joking about this but i've just noticed no no i'm serious about it i'm serious uh, uh, yeah uh, what role do they actually play here and yeah. also so much corruption in politics can we really have democracy without politics uh, guys please read the book because uh, mam is being quite diplomatic about it but she's actually also mentioned a lot of times in such a long and illustrious career the the uh, by play with the politician the bureaucrats how you have to toe the line or not toe the line if, and she likes to speak her mind it's amazing how you survived actually sometimes because there are various incidents in the book where you've, you've sort of taken on you know you've decided to go one way and the political uh, 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 slant is somewhere else completely so bureaucracy is that way um, you know if i used to say in my younger days i was much frank much hmm. more frank than hmm. i am today i used to say mala jar tumhala bahar kadaiche asel khatyatun तो तुम्हाला राष्ट्रपतीची परवानगी लागणार आहे विच इज ट्रू टू रिमूव्ह अ ऑफिसर ऑफ आय पी एस आय एस यू नीड द परमिशन ऑफ द सँक्शन ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया बट इन्स्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग अस बोल्डर दॅट ऑल्सो मेक्स अस सो सिक्युअर दॅट वी गो इन टू ए रट वी डोंट थिंक फ्रेश वी डोंट ब्रिंग फ्रेश इनिशिएटिव्ह So and therefore the constable who is standing on the road hmm. should actually be investigating your house robbery your house breaking your theft but he is standing on the road for 6 to 8 hours and the fear the anxiety that they are seeing i see it in their body language because the moment the cavalcade passes everybody relaxes it was like the exam ho gaya aaj ke liye and it's like 10 in the morning That's you know true. and and uska body language ke baad wo badalta nahi they are just calm so the whole thing is they are actually serving these guys and the samaj ka seva idea has gone out of the window because you're not like you said you're not really getting into that area so samaj ka seva nahi see i i've been thinking a quite Please, a bit Please ma'am you are the perfect person no, for this No tomorrow you may say that police officers think oh question mark well, one second let's i do make a lot of fun of the mumbai police but let me tell you i have also lots of great stories with them one of my drinking partners when i used to drink alcohol was jeevan virkar do you remember oh, him yeah 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 uh, half yes. parsi you can't go wrong <laughs> <laughs> huh. but once i had a friend and uh, she had sent i had asked her to read a particular book and her husband came to pick up that book hmm. i was crime branch chief in mumbai hmm. he entered my office and i said here is the book please give it to your wife my friend he says did you read it i said yeah that's why i'm recommending it to your wife oh i never thought police officers read hmm. and this was a serious not funny serious. he was making an observation wow so you had so much in the book is replete with these examples also there's a police commissioner name not mentioned can find out if you look at the era as mentioned properly riots are going on if i remember correctly the chembur riots are going on and a commissioner is asking why are you here he yeah. has asked for all this that senior. was a gender remark gender remark yeah, yeah. pure gender like yek uh, yek you know that kind of sort of am i right yeah. words to, literally words to that effect that kind of tone and i mean like so when that particular commissioner was gheraud and it was a very serious situation another officer had fired and killed a particular young member boy member of the community ha huh? yeah particular community and, and it was a violent, serious yeah. right yeah then your natural self comes out hmm. if he were in office my gender was fine with him true but under when pressure you are saying yeah so that under pressure they all chauvinists we men at least then that, that, yeah yeah now we are scared <laughs> <laughs> now we are but we are scared it's a little different but it must be a little hard on you now because you're already on your stripes you no one is giving you any favors you probably i remember talking to a journalist in chennai about jailalita uh, amma and you know i was trying to make fun or saying something little not nice and he she said you please understand one thing for her to rise to where she is in this chauvinist tamilian sort of culture that she grew up in she must be so powerful a personality and must be so good at what she does and then think about it it's right all our female leaders whether you like them or not mayavathi mamta or whoever they have to go beyond mm. having you know where they come from to and then to be the boss of these same men who are making comments like this uh, as well scratch scratch you guys and, and the then truth the truth out. comes up yeah. yeah how do you deal with all that because even though you were getting higher and higher in terms of posting then your career graph has always gone up uh, it doesn't mean that they've stopped being either jealous or intimidated or uncomfortable with a female now you know entering the area and then overtaking them so one learns you know initially you feel very hurt hmm. you retaliate you also 
you feel you have to be assertive. Sometimes you also become aggressive. But then, let me be frank. I found men are quite weak. <laughs> no, I can <laughs> tell you an example. Huh. Please. I, okay. So, this is when I was IG. Hmm. And I have cited in the book. Hmm. And two senior officers got extension in service. Hmm. Which is very bad for the service. You get three months extension, which means person junior to you who is about to become the DG. Has to wait. Yeah. And about to become the commissioner of police, Mumbai has to wait. Hmm. And I raised my voice in the meeting of Association of Indian Police Service Officers, Maharashtra, hmm. which is not a formal official forum where you are supposed to uh, be free to speak your mind. Okay. And I said... And peers, basically. Yes, it's oh. only peer. Oh. I said that DG and commissioner getting extension is bad for the service. Hmm. I am not affected personally because I am junior. I am still an IG. Hmm. Even officers who were getting themselves affected, who could not become the commissioner and DG for next three months, they kept quiet. So what does it show? Fear. Fear and weak. If you talk about it and word will get out, if I talk about it, they hold him back more. Yeah. Maybe that's it. So when I stood up, only one officer... Uh, and he had your sense of humor, huh? Uh. So uh, he backed and he said, I second <coughs> Meera. And later on, he went around saying, Are you talking in English? I didn't understand. So I said, yes. Superb. This is great legal defense here. Yeah. Always language is an issue. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the career graph. So then, uh, what is the first posting after you finish? What is a very arduous uh, system? Physical and mental and everything else. And then you clear that. And then where did you go first? Nashik, yeah. then Kolhapur, hmm. then Mumbai. I was DCP for five years. Right. Yeah. But in all this, uh, what was the first incident you remember? The first incident where you were tested in a sense, uh, making judgment calls, dealing with mobs, those kind of things. Uh, first was, yeah, this incident where you have said… Which we where, have just discussed. Yeah, yeah. where in my over-enthusiasm, when the control room said, all senior officers to report, commissioner has been get out. Hmm. The situation is tense. Hmm. And I reached there. Hmm. And my car was burnt uh, in that. Yeah. With, your, with your laptop, uh, with your files and all inside. Yeah, those yeah. days laptops huh, were not there. Were I had a brief... Huh. Yeah, all my briefcase was there. Huh. Because it was communal in Kamathipura. Huh. And, the, um, and the crowd was very violent. Hmm. Very emotional. Hmm. An officer had come and opened fire. Killed a young boy. Uh, and they were so angry hmm. that they were not letting me reach the commissioner, which was my purpose of having reached the spot hmm. at the instance of the police control room. Hmm. So my first lesson was uh, in crowd control, in mob psychology, because first they argued and argued. And then half of them said, okay, you can go and meet your commissioner. Hmm. And I realized if I go, other half which has not agreed, hmm. they can be very dangerous. And I was carrying my revolver. Hmm. You know, to take out a revolver in your hostel is not difficult. Somebody will hmm. take it out. Hmm. So I said, no. Oh. Okay, in a, in, with all the crowd around you. Huh? Yeah, both sides. Hmm. So I said, no. Till all of you agree that I can go, I will not leave. And actually, I was quite afraid. Hmm. But I didn't show. And after about 10 minutes discussion, they all agreed. Bar java to me. Hmm. So... Uh, what they teach us is in theory how to deal Correct. with mob yeah. and how mobs can and these are all judgment calls you're making on the spot na, ki to open fire not to open fire to keep your nerve so either way as a policeman you lose right in the sense ki you have to quell the riot and in whatever way but if you open fire then the people will come on top of you ki obviously something inquiry inquiry consequences jo bhi hai, there'll always be some negative uh, impact of that and in fact there's a, a another story I don't, I don't know if it's another riot where uh, there's this regional politician who you were trying to get to or whatever, who said that the policemen are not doing anything during the riot. Ha, they should wear bangles yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of, you know, gender comment. Yeah, that is because, see, people like you sitting here. Hmm. <laughs> no, I, I'm representing this horrible politician. Uh, uh. So you will say, uh. Itne, uh, pe wo chal rahe hai, tube lights, stone throwing. Uh, Marpeet basically. Marpeet, yeah. hmm. So police wale jo hai, but technically, they did not do anything. Yeah, because the… They're waiting for orders or fear? Uh, I, I feel the fear of physical harm. Because Because the crowd on both sides of the highway had prepared for one full day or say two days. Huh. Keeping huge stones. It's so much stones and tube lights and bulbs. Mm -hmm. 
कि the staff had not gone out and this uh, of uh, this political leader got angry and hmm. he said madam aple lokana bangdeya de na hmm. so but once i asked them you come out hmm. they did come out and then how did they uh, stop it they actually usme to negotiation karna pada so it so, all comes down to manduli it's just like whether it's arab israel issues or whatever it is people have to talk <laughs> it's better yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so we so, are laughing and you're making light of it but i'm sure these are very tense situations to be in So we were just talking offline, and I was just saying, "My problem for the day is no one to walk my dog because I have to go to the airport from here." And uh, ma'am, every day, I mean, riots, of course, not every day, but there's something or the other. I mean, there are all kinds of cases here. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the slightly sad ones, but there's this uh, because it's a defining case for you, the eight-year-old girl and the businessman, yeah. um, which is just you got. You tell us the story because the justice comes in 1997. The case happens in in the 80s. Yeah, so a nine-year, eight years old. girl is raped in a maruti car in a small uh, district place called kolapur and uh, the case is detected uh, it's sent to the court uh, the session court convicts the accused mm. is a rich businessman of kolapur people mm. don't believe mm. once they believe then the medical certificate goes mm. against the prosecution we had mm. to order a board medical board to re examine the girl mm. uh and then high court reduces that punishment uh to whatever time, time served, he had time spent served. yeah uh. in the jail mm. and supreme court took 11 years from 87 to 86 to uh 11 years so later he was out on bail yeah absolutely and, and also why bail high court had uh, completed whatever oh. his sentence was oh, the sentence is over no bail he's just free yeah free man but the supreme court again um agreed with the session court and convicted him for rape hmm. and also in their own way they apologized for the delay of 11 hmm. years hmm. in giving hmm. justice to a 8 year old but this is the sad story of the whole country hmm. in india a rape case will come up for trial after 3 to 4 years hmm. and the order final conviction or acquittal will be 8 to 9 years even now yeah even today so oh, is it because rich man poor girl family that kind of is that the issue also see the rich people can also have uh, uh can also instigate that the trial is delayed and further delayed mm. but in general the trials in india will take 5 to 10 years even murder case so that is where cyrus people like you <laughs> uh, should build public pressure we should have more judges Well, they have done it in certain cases, like say Ayushi, this and that. We have had some landmark cases, but they, where the media has actually risen to the occasion in a sense. So, but, but the but delay the, but the in trial, really sort of, uh, yeah, delay in trial is very serious. So, and whose that, responsibility is that? The court only, na? So, we should have more courts and more infrastructure. Oh, so what you're saying is that we are just over. They are over. They don't have enough capacity. No, they cannot. Yeah. May I cut the court? I have no problem. This IVM is going nowhere. This whole production. We should just make it into one uh, little court here. and we will serve both by the way ma'am is veg huh? so just remember that everybody is there throughout the story we'll come into that as well because that uh, when we we'll talk about america and sometime in that there must have been a problem also uh, let's get back to the cases so you had these riot cases you had that case um then you, you you've had a lot of cases where uh, people are challenging your orders whatever you do like you're trying to get something done and i don't want to take names of people and all but there how do you deal with that whole structure because the structure the hierarchy people don't know and the police is very complicated Uh, everybody thinks a commissioner to hai ya dcp ya you know so in your zone your your whatever you say goes but it's not like that every there political uh, pressure in everything there's a uh, vip pressure from non political people who no political people etc etc so without taking names can you tell us how you managed to you know uh, go through all this and so get your work done one good thing with uniform is that uniform respects hierarchy so hmm. that's the plus point if i am sitting in the chair of a dcp Uh, 99% of the uh, staff will not challenge me though initially i have quoted in my book hmm. that when i was under training and learning how to conduct police raids against gambling prostitution uh, illicit daru and hmm. all uh, it was a big issue for bhadrakali staff that madam being in ips if we go for a raid she will sit in the front in yeah. the jeep yeah, 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 with yeah. the driver yeah I and I can imagine, but I, till till you brought that up, I was thinking. But actually, I can imagine that really being an issue, and so uh, awkward for them, huh? Yeah, and the so, six feet tall, yeah, yeah, yeah. well built Correct. inspector has to sit at the back. Huh. So initially, I think there was some uh, uh, issues, but later on, it uh, it's the uniform. 
which is respected and mm. rank which is respected even by criminals mm. they also know uh, that she is the boss the, yeah she is mm. the crime branch chief mm. so you cannot take any um, i mean like so they know this but politicians mm. they are a different breed yeah. and they feel which is also true they are the bosses they are they say we are ultimately we are responsible to the citizens not you and therefore they expect but there's things. something wrong in our system now i don't know whether the western system is the same or not where the politician then is the last say on the on the on the well in the judiciary also in some cases and in the police because then how you always going to have to listen to what they say so your job is at the line yeah but when i was working with minneapolis police uh -huh. uh, i had gone for uh, one year to fulbright yeah, yeah. Uh, fellowship humphrey hubert humphrey fellowship we, we'll talk about it in detail but yeah to usme kya hua minneapolis police chief hmm. uh was being criticized a lot by the new uh, mayor mm. of minneapolis mm. so i asked him my god they are humiliating you mm. they may ask you to uh, they may bid you uh, goodbye they may ask you to go away he said well they cannot i said why it's very expensive for them so they oh, have severance package yeah ah. so the institutional uh, support is there But that's that. That goes the other way. Then I'll purposely misbehave because I want them to fire me so I can get a lot of money in one go. No, but then the prestige be है ना. In India, if I were in uh, his position, hmm. uh, I I'll be shifted. Yeah. I'll be transferred. You can try once or twice, and if you dare go on, they'll they will shift you. You're in the some far away forest. So department. therefore, some states have introduced uh, an institutional support. Uh, of that you cannot transfer an officer before mm. he or she completes the tenure and generally it's 2 years mm. uh so these institutional supports in india are missing yeah. and therefore the politicians have become very powerful see tumko pune ko police commissioner nahi banayenge mumbai ka nahi banayenge agar banayenge to you do what we say and what we say may not be in the interest of the citizens mm. may not be nahi hota hi nahi hai and then there are many cases where basically one phone call and you have to let people go and all that because these people are interfering from the top yeah but most of so, us can i call you also like that no so most of us huh. have now huh. uh, like if i get a call from you cyrus mm -hmm. that um, don't insist on um, the custody of x huh. so i would say received the call from cyrus hmm. and uh, he's insisting that i do not seek the custody hmm. i however do not agree 1 2 3 oh. so tomorrow i will expose you ah uh, that's true and thanks to the internet i'll be exposed very and the way you're saying it also like it's a great thing thank you <laughs> okay we have to go into a quick break lots more to talk about uh, i don't know how much we can fit in but please go and buy the book it's a fantastic story it's so interesting there's so many i mean i'm sure ma'am had so many more things to put in which she couldn't put in but whatever there is everything it's got everything it's it's like it's like a hindi film from time to time you know when you look at it suddenly it's in the middle of a riot or in the middle of a murder case or a rape case hindi film mat kaho bhai hindi film in a good way that keep up bored nahi ho jayega usme gana to nahi hai usme i've not got one song so far ha huh? and thank god no item numbers because you and me we don't like all this nonsense we'll take a break and come back hey hey it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network On all things policy, Mubina Mubarak and Malati Renati speak about solid waste management. They talk about its nuances and best practices in order to maintain urban hygiene and also reduce environmental pollution in the face of urban expansion. On a century of stories, Kunal unfolds a poignant chapter in history about Tokyo's beloved elephants during World War II and India's heartwarming response. Discover the journey of Indira, the chosen elephant, symbolizing hope and goodwill and Nehru's heartfelt message fostering a lasting bond between India and Japan. And on the Habit Coach podcast, Ashton advocates cultivating a reading habit by starting with easily digestible, thin and well-crafted books. He gives pointers on how to make reading a brief, manageable daily commitment that can be done anywhere. Folks, if you like our shows, do spread the word. Tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You'll also find all our shows on YouTube at youtube.com/ivmpodcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week: Omidya Network India, Abbott, IDFC First Bank, and Save Life Foundation. Thank you for making this possible. 
All right, we're back here. Um, the book is called Madam Commissioner. Is that what they would call you, ma'am? Would you say Madam Commissioner? No, so this is an incident. Yeah. I have quoted that. Mm. Once two girls in Pune had gone to have right, coffee. Right, and the, the, the policeman is rude to them on the yeah. phone. Yeah, go ahead. So go ahead. they were having coffee late in the evening mm. and some boys started troubling them, harassing them. Mm. They rang up police control, control room. room. The control room officer said, Kiti was late? They said, nine o'clock. What are you doing here? They said, we are having coffee. Hmm. Is, can't you have Garfek, coffee at home? Uh, correct. Why are you out so late? The girls got so angry. Hmm. They came to me and they kept saying, Madam Commissioner, Madam Commissioner, wow. what's the use of having a lady officer in this seat if your policeman is so rude? Fair point, yeah. And when we took out the audio tape from the police control room, every word which they had told me hmm. uh, were uttered by that officer on duty was correct. He kept challenging them about being late. How dare they be out? Yeah. It's a morality issue and all that. I get it. I get it. So that's why... It why would he do that? He just was lazy? Or he actually felt like that? No, many of us, like you scratch them, they are... Uh, Conservative you know, thought process is the one. It's gone. So can't. in uniform, you are supposed to be helping a citizen, but your own mental attitude sometimes hmm. they take over. So he identified more with the guys who were teasing the girls and the, the girls who are suffering. This is why everyone should have a daughter. Then you'll learn. I have a daughter. Bullies me a lot, man. <laughs> lady. Uh, uh, let's, there's another story that I want to, I know we're going up and down. There's a story where you mentioned that you have to, when you arrest a, a politician, which you did once, a very well-known guy, you have to touch him physically. <laughs> yeah, that's actually... Well, what does that mean? Uh, actually... You know, the rule book says you touch him. And hmm. I was so young and uh, I thought, this guy is not getting the idea that he's brought to the police uh, ground. And, and he's him, under he's perfect clothing and yeah, you know, like, like he's going for a film function. Huh. Uh, absolutely uh. white. Yeah. Um, Why do they wear white all the time to show purity and all? Or no? the exact opposite. <laughs> ho jate. I find that very funny. Huh. Huh. So I just touched his kurta and I said, you are under arrest. Kai hmm. matlo? I said, you are under arrest. Hmm. He couldn't believe it because he was uh, a member of parliament just a week before. Hmm. Hmm. So he could, and his party was in power. Power, correct. So party in power hai and New he's member a, of parliament. Yeah. And he was so vocal and he had just instigated a huge crowd. And I felt his instigation had led to violence hmm. in which our 11 constables had been injured. Yeah. So I thought there is no other way except to arrest him. Hmm. So, he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. But I was very happy that uh, I could do... But in the end, you got support in that one. I initially, I, I think one uh, senior tried to tell you to back off and all on the story and everything. But in the end, they did like nobody... You were not transferred or anything and action was taken. Yeah, but the tragic part is mm. that the case which we registered mm. later on was very quietly withdrawn by the government. So my point and another so chapter... who does that then? Who is the responsibility for withdrawing a case which is filed by your department? So this is as per the CRPC. The hmm. prosecuting officer, prosecutor can withdraw a case. And what government does, there's another case uh, in the same book uh, against Neelam Gore and Milin Narvekar. Hmm. Uh, they had also incited violence in Pune. Hmm. This particular case uh, which we discussed earlier was in Satara. Hmm. So first the politicians incite violence. Hmm. Even if we register case, we arrest them. Hmm. Later on, very quietly, the government will uh, give in writing to the prosecutors to withdraw the case and the cases get withdrawn. On what grounds? Uh, well, any ground, but I don't think they even have to give a ground. So, communal harmony and civic society not to be disturbed is better to remove it. What would be the reason? Yeah. So, only um, good point is that in a case where life is lost, they don't withdraw. Hmm. They cannot withdraw. But otherwise, dagar fake ho gaya, violence ho gayi, gaadiyan jal gayi. Hmm. Like recently we saw in all this Maratha reservation, hmm. Ho, hmm. buses jal gayi. Hmm. So, they quietly withdraw the cases. Wow. So, we've learnt a lesson here. Join politics. Please. And, uh, uh, do your but best. don't burn but, vehicles. Uh, no, burn is also okay. Just don't kill people. If you don't kill people, you after some time, they'll quietly be uh, pushed under the carpet and things move on. But you've never, there's no cynicism from you. You've written in such a way where I don't feel you're... You still try to manipulate the system and, and go forward, which is a very positive sort of intent. 
you don't I'm, you can easily have become like you know why am I here what am I doing these people keep coming in the way etc but you don't have that tone at all I think the government should hire you ma'am now to revamp the system slightly not completely but slightly you know all these things that you're mentioning here government doesn't like me by the way we like you we will change the government <laughs> and make sure you come don't worry uh, write letter to the government <laughs> somebody <laughs> <laughs> Can't take a chance. No, but it's amazing because you know you had the experience for so many years. I'm not just trying to praise you. I'm thinking who knows better. It's like in cricket, we have the cricketers. In you know, in in whatever thing it is, that function, that function ka people will come with their experience and help you. You've got someone serving. You're a female officer who against the grinders. Why done talk this. about me as a female officer? No, I'm saying I'm as a female blessed. officer, I feel your empathy level is higher. So okay. for everything. And I think it's there in the book. Please buy the book. Tang tang tang, plug number 16. And uh, I, I think they should listen to people like you, yeah. You, because Cyrus, seriously, one issue with government is we are so traditional, so bureaucratic. And the officers, I have had young officers and IIT and I can give an example. I don't think I've referred in the book. Who is an out, out of the box thinker hmm. comes with very good original ideas which can also work well. Hmm. But instead of accepting him, the system just throws him out. As a result, वो लकीर के फकीर हो गए हैं हम तो मैं उसमें नहीं बैठती हूं तो मुझे भी कोई एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेगा एंड आई एम फाइन विद इट बट दिस पुअर यू हैव इनवाइटेड मी ओह देयर यू गो इससे ऊपर कहां कहां पे जा सकता है अब इसके बाद बट द आईटी गाइस पेरेंट्स मस्ट नॉट बी हैप्पी यार ही गोस विद एन आईटी डिग्री देन गोस इनटू द पुलिस फोर्स एंड देयर दे डोंट ट्रीट हिम प्रॉपर्ली एंड गिव हिम द राइट रिस्पेक्ट ही सरवाइव्स बट the fact that he can thrive एंड ही कैन चेंज द सिस्टम इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल दिस इज नॉट मिस्टर डी शिवानंदन ना <laughs> you spoke very well about him that's why I took the liberty of asking and i know his wife was a dog lover so these are important points for me uh i i remember a lot i the senior officers i find are fantastic very easy to understand and talk to and they all mostly are like minded so i still don't understand how the system doesn't change but obviously in spite of the fact that the entire senior cadre is sensitive to everything know exactly what's going on and especially once they are out of service so then there's no dog in a horse in the race so to speak then they should be allowed i think to come together as a collective and say chalo hum log ye ye parivartan chahiye society mein uh, police society mein and and get it done especially the working hours yeah because i think north south east west is the same problem yeah, yeah. they just work till they die literally I'm not trying to be funny about it but literally like and that. you know a guy who is working for say 8 plus hours and sitting in the police station you go with your serious complaint mm. and you expect that he'll be very welcoming smiling mm. and very empathetic it's mm. not possible mm. but if you ask him to if he knows that i'm going to work for 8 hours shift then i'm off i'm a free man i can give time to my family to my dog also no no but it, it, this is without that what life do you have you can't have one dimensional life here suddenly you're 50 so police man ki life to one dimensional hi ho gayi hai ye bekar cheez hai there someone has to do something and about more this. so at the constable and sub inspector inspector level we still have privileges i must admit i have the answer we have started our own political party please join us the only problem is the name is similar to the main party because my name is brocha my surname and we have taken the name brocha janta party so there's a little bit of a legal issue that i'm trying to mr salve is on the phone with me uh, at about he's been mentioned twice so i've taken the liberty of taking his name as well so if you are willing uh, to come into but cyrus you are forgetting i am saying democracy without politicians to kaisa karega hum kaam we'll have to sit together and brainstorming 12 session. days in the early 2000s when we did not have a, a prime minister and we did not have a cabinet and anything and then the country as gdp went up by 3% or something it did there's some data like this but you know i mean 12 days is one thing but 5 years might be a little dangerous <laughs> yeah. who do the appointments a, know, a senior board of police no but if the police machinery itself like you do in a corporation an mnc they themselves will be there'll be a trustee board or whatever there'll be corporate uh, management hierarchy and they will the promotion and demotion will happen from them do you think it is self run yeah no yeah besides what the supreme court has said and police commission has also recommended there should be an establishment board and members of opposition should also be there today oh. whoever is ruling it becomes so powerful hmm. that bureaucrats and police officers after all we are human beings we naturally align ourselves to the political leaders to survive and, yeah oh. to survive and we forget that actually we are not accountable to them but to the citizens no opposition is a very important point because you arrest more of them than the sitting government yeah so who was the opposition you also have more ed inquiry it's ed wo to wo to it's a permanent case <laughs> some of them say mere paas paisa bhi nahi hai phir bhi aa gaya chai chai pee sakte hai sakkar nahi hai usme ha yeah that's very interesting okay well jo ki bata we running out of time on quickly two more things i need to get in before we wrap up and do ams 
One is uh, the underworld. The Hasina Parkar case, which is uh, very much there, which is a long case actually, when you look at it, it you know, um, and your brush with the underworld. With, uh, you mentioned on page 150, Abtak Chappan, which is a movie starring Nana Patekar and Kunal Vijaykar, my friends. And uh, you said how it's not quite like that, but there are some similarities. So tell us about your experience with, uh, Chota Rajan is mentioned a lot, but also uh, Dawood Ibrahim, etc, etc. Uh, so, you see, that's what crime branch is. It specializes, it knows the whole history from birth till your last activity known. Uh, so, when I took over in the crime branch and when I had my brush with the organized uh, criminals, I realized criminals are very powerful and so are our so-called encounter specialists. So, we had to bring them back to... Uh, Real time and, but evidence you're, you're based. So called encounter specialists, I don't want to argue the point. Is matlab kya hai? That's how you like to call them. We okay. call them inspector so and so, but you would say encounter specialist. Encounter is a controversial shab there, but Haan. so called encounter is like emphasizing. <laughs> okay. Haan. So to bring them back to evidence based policing and documentation was tough. Uh, but the point they would say make is that if X is so dangerous if he's not bumped off, he will commit 10 more crimes till you send a single case against him in the court, which is a reality. I uh, an investigation in the court, mein bheja, it will come up for trial after 5 years. Hmm. He'll be out in bail and he'll be involved in 10 more killings. Hmm. So this is how the encounter specialist thought that the shortcut and initially they started with very good uh, justice to the citizens. Hmm. Quick, prompt justice to the citizens. Later on, they lost their way. They started uh, at the bidding of uh, one politicians, versus, one versus the other yeah, builders, yeah. other gangs. Hmm. So, my three years in crime branch was basically trying to work for, uh, I would say, yes, traditional, strong, evidence-based policing. I was resented. But the rest of the world also has this policy. No? Everybody talks about they have unknown squads or whatever, encounter specialists. Jape, they have this, you know, blueprint where they can, in certain cases, Yeah, eliminate. that's also, uh, actually, even our own IPC, CRPC permits, if you are under the threat, you yourself feel he will kill me, so you kill him first. Hmm. But this had gone beyond that. Let's be frank about it. Hmm. And it took some time. MCOC Act helped us. Hmm. Uh, the tragic part is that they are correct. That by the time a person is convicted, uh, he has already uh, caused so much damage, taken so many lives hmm. that you yourself start wondering that maybe encounter was the right way. Plus from jail, they continue activities. It's not like it's closed, it's closed. It's closed, it's closed. It continues. Hare, I uh, mentioned a case hmm. of 9 crores worth of uh, jewellery being robbed from Joy Lucas. Yeah, yeah, the whole chapter is on that. Yeah. So when I was talking to that particular uh, accused he told, I said, Tum to idhar rehte ho, Mumbai mein. Hmm. Tum kaise samaj mein aaya, Tumko Hyderabad mein joy lukas hai, and it has poor security, and that you can break open. Hmm. He said, Arre, Arthur Road mein tha na, madam. To mere oh, saath Hyderabad. Networking. Yes. So, networking. <laughs> so, in people, Arthur Road. This is an important point. In case Listen. you're a criminal watching the show, you have to get in for six months. You have to network, network karke, you can you know, go up in career. Wow. So we also in crime branch and in other specialized units, we try to break this networking hmm. or we try to get into that hmm. and we anticipate and uh, then we many a times, we prevent crime which citizens don't come to know. Right. So let me tell you one story. I will not name the uh, person, but he was a very high flying hmm. um, producer director of Mumbai when I was in crime branch. Okay. I'll take his permission next time. I'll tell you his name. I'm trying to think now. I know Sanjay Das story is there. So I'm trying to think if a coach parallel is with So uh, we got a live information that he is about to be attacked, and he was not picking up the phone of my DCP. Rajiv Rai. No, okay. Uh. You forget that. Uh. <laughs> Just listen. See, Google, to Google, Google. Everyone has phone now. Everyone, everyone has taken it. All the technicians are looking for names. Sorry, huh? So uh, now this getting this information is the uh, plus point. Uh, of crime branch that they got this information that but he was not picking up the phone but all your Bollywood have the numbers of joint CP crime commissioner of mm. police uh, mm. Mumbai and all and DCP was very disturbed ma'am uspe to abhi attack hone wala hai 
इमेजिन आई रिंग अप एंड ही पिक्स अप माई फोन एंड आई टेल हिम आप नीचे मत आइए क्यों आप पहले मजले पे बैठे हैं ठीक है हाँ मैं बैठा हूं यहाँ पे नीचे क्यों ना हूं मैंने कहा क्योंकि आप पे अटैक होने वाला आप बिल्कुल वहां रहिए बिकॉज वी हैड ऑल्सो इंटरसेप्टेड द मैसेज से हाँ उधर ही पहले मजले में है जहां नीचे डिब्बा है एंड डिब्बा इज द कोड वर्ड फॉर पुलिस वैन सो आर इंफॉर्मेशन वॉज करेक्ट द लोकेशन वॉज करेक्ट बट द गाई वॉज नॉट पिकिंग अप द फोन ऑफ माई डी सी पी वेन ही पिकड अप माई फोन एंड आई टोल्ड हिम आप नीचे मत आइए फर्स्ट ही डिसग्रीड बी वन सी रियलाइज अच्छा है तो बहुत सीरियस है देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट वॉट्स अ क्वेश्चन यू कुड है वास्ट मी कौन है नहीं अटैकर मैडम आप पे पिक्चर बनाऊ क्या आई यू किडिंग मी एट दैट पॉइंट यस I told him and my कि उस point पे art before the tragedy art के बारे में सोचा but I think I think you deserve a picture to be made on your life I told him आप में maturity नहीं है आप मेरी बात सुनिए if the picture is made the scene has to be there हाँ और फिर जान बच गई but but you but nobody knows it so I'm saying what hmm. we prevent is not known to Correct. the citizens yeah maybe I should have written about it so good cop is like a wicket keeper you don't notice him there are no mistakes and that means he's doing really well it's that's what they say about wicket keeper sorry to bring it up but my knowledge of mm. cricket is better so I'd like to go there oh uh, wow what a story then uh you were we come to the prisons when you were in charge of prisons and you had Sanjay Dutt mm. there and you said that he was very polite and friendly and all that and when you met him and then of course there was some controversy ki uske ghar se biryani ya homemade khana and all that was coming to him uh no it's not a controversy it's a fact see uh big politicians bollywood hero heroines whenever they land up in prison you know they think they are vips hmm. and their law knowledge about law is poor hmm. when uh, sanjay dat was in arthur road jail he was an under trial right and he was permitted home food right which is permitted as per law with the permission of the court hmm. once we were shifting him to yaroda after his conviction hmm. from under trial his legal status becomes of a convict convict correct he got a magistrate's order about home food magistrate was wrong but so, then you have to take it up with the magistrate not his fault now we will the guy will try to get his food ha to humne usko bol diya ki we are going to challenge this order hmm. and we are 100% sure we will get it vacated hmm. you will not get home food hmm. So from day one he said, "Okay, I'm fine." So because you know, challenging the order, then getting that mm. order vacated, and, and informing the court it's mm. incorrect order, it took us some time. But I must say that he said first day itself, "Okay, okay, you know." But you mentioned he was almost too nice, and uh, it was a little awkward See, dealing with him because he was. No, no, that is when he found out about me. You know, huh. I think he used his sources that huh. I am from Punjab, I am from Ooh, Fazilka. Right, right, right. Huh, huh. so he tried to find out and he embarrassed me a little hmm. but uh, the main issue was media alleging hmm. that we give him special treatment we you absolutely did not no did not and he was nice generally because his parole and furlough was dependent on his behavior in the co- uh, hmm. in the prison hmm. had he not behaved we would not have permitted him furlough or Uh, parole but they had a he used to train them in drama and things like that or something like that yeah yeah so english he, or something and, and ek to wo banata kaam bhi karta tha uh, and then i mentioned bd or cigarette yeah. bhi khareed leta tha uh-huh. but on the whole i think he had realized that here he better behaves but he got raju hirani to come and uh, do the performance and help with the performance and all is that uh, correct yeah see uh, that is we were planning a welfare show like we have umang in uh, mm-hmm. Mumbai for yeah. police welfare we were planning uh, the one for prison Pune. officers oh. welfare in uh, Pune and for that yes he contacted either he contacted or uh, i don't know yes they did try uh, it was the show was good but mm. we could not go ahead with it mm. wow very interesting story uh, does he stay in touch now no no are <laughs> ab wo to punjab connection to gaya abhi uh, what's going i on? don't mind <laughs> <laughs> but then slightly well, more severe situation was You oversaw, and this is really reads like a thriller, the of the hanging of Ajmal Kasab, the terrorist, which was done with I, th- I think about ten people knowing about what the whole situation was, and literally right till the last second, including the people, the Mumbai police who transported him, uh, they were made to stay in uh, Pune from Mumbai, and their phones were taken away from them, and they were wondering what's happening, and they were just left there like prisoners themselves, right till the last minute. It was done under great secrecy. So uh, tell us about that. That must have been very. Uh, what is the right word taxing and difficult for you 
yeah taxing difficult because mainly the government insisted it should be kept secret hmm there was some information what is the real reason for not op- because i remember we were all suddenly it came on the news ki ho gaya like in the late morning it came on the news what is 738 after it's done and so what was the reason behind keeping it quiet like that so they had some information that um hostile international powers mainly i think must be pakistan hmm. they would kill him before actual hanging hmm. to show that in india rule of law does not prevail that india oh, is a banana ne, yeah all that got it banana yeah. republic yeah. so we wanted to show that if there is a terrorist attack and we hang a person we do it by following the full the legal process mm. of session court high court supreme court mercy mm. petition being rejected by the governor by the president, president. then the capital punishment mm. but the information was that to embarrass us internationally they would get him killed mm. and then show that Uh, india is not a properly run uh, republic right. democratic mm. so us information ko ki isko properly um, uh, hanging would be uh, uh, as per the rule of law they felt there is a threat so the government at very senior level decided it shall be kept a secret that created much more stress for me and for my team mm. this is state government uh, making all these no i think central government was part of it Okay. And it had a because uh, he was a foreign national, so we had. But the, Home Minister R R Patel, State Minister, was in uh, touch with you personally. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But one more point, which mm. you said, uh, why I feel central government was in touch, mm. because his family was to be informed. Mm. We were following it till the, uh. and uh, so the foreign ministry said Pakistan has refused to accept. Mm. Uh, that's what I was told. that he is their citizen correct yeah. so even central government was uh, a party to the secret mission but mr r r patil was the home minister at that time he was i mean like very him, closely yeah, yeah. you praised him yeah rare tarif politician ke liye but uh, yeah yeah he stuck to the point that it should be very secret hmm. and in fact it was so secret that next day onwards i was getting information messages phone calls कि वो तो पहले ही मर गया था <laughs> वो तो अभी मरा ही नहीं है उसको तो दैट टाइम सम काइंड ऑफ वायरस वाज दिंग या सो पीपल कुड नॉट बिलीव दैट इंडिया एंड स्टेट कैन डू इट रियली सच अ हाई क्वालिटी ऑपरेशन इन ए टोटली एंड फॉलो द प्रोसेस या इमोशंस इन्वॉल्व यू कुड इजीली बी एक्सक्यूज फॉर नॉट इन दिस रेरेस और रेयर केसेज फॉलोइंग अ प्रोसेस इन जस्ट एक्सिक्यूटिंग but uh, there's another one the yakub memon story i don't want to get into detail about it again but the after he is um, you know hanged he if you can just tell us that story because it's slightly humane touch to that the mother come the uh, mother comes to you for passport uh, for the daughter mother doesn't come to me directly hmm. she approaches me through an officer yeah. who tells me are you ready to help because that officer was based in delhi hmm. and he said she wants passport for their daughter hmm. can you help i said yes of course hmm. so i came here to the mumbai uh, passport office then i went to delhi passport office because mm. i felt delhi home department mm. i felt that yakub uh, had uh, committed a crime we cannot hold his young child responsible for that mm. and i am in a position where i can help that child mm. and to have an indian passport is a legal right mm. if we are denying that we are making a mistake and let me flag the issue mm. once i flag the issue i am very happy to say that the government agreed and she was given the passport i'm going to ask you one slightly sensitive question because i know it's vaguely there it's there in the book also i mean you're thinking of this young girl growing up you know in the north and then suddenly you're this boss of a entire police force in a state and you're overseeing hangings what what would go through your head uh, when this these things happen actually because you know i mean it's none of us in our lives are going to really be around this kind of responsibility or uh, you know actually in charge of execution and going through all that yeah it was tough for me and uh, another thing was that i can't discuss it with family generally i think my career went smoothly because i was strongly rooted in my family and i could take my stress out mm-hmm. with family here i thought these issues cannot be you know uh, cannot be discussed cannot be who can you discuss it with it is your there's yeah. no body will understand what you have gone through in this case huh? so uh, i think it was the teamwork because we could discuss it in the prison correct 
and even prison officers had not seen a hanging mm. Mm, so bonding of the team having an excellent uh, team at the field level and talking self talking maine kafi kiya mm. uh, in both Matlab, the, like therapy like i used to tell myself that i am not doing anything wrong it's the logical end of a legal process duty yeah mm. so self talking helped and then silence also helped cyrus <laughs> silence so i wouldn't have helped but i'm just thinking uh, on a slightly lighter note you think that uh, uh, counseling and all is important in the police force oh, because yeah. of the challenges you all face in fact in this um, hanging i felt all of us needed counseling yeah, exactly. i felt that but we don't have counselors because, because you're not prepared for this kind of role in life you know there's a, a little bit which you are and then the riots i'm just thinking your life has been so colorful and in many cases uh, you know it's like one is finished and the next thing starts mm. you know it's just your life but is cyrus just... this is very correct i think we should identify uh, situations which need which where police prisons uh, need uh, counseling we may not hire counselors on the say long term basis mm. but at least in these hangings i felt if there mm. had been counselors post uh, the event it would have helped us correct yeah see here today we have come to a lot of conclusions because of this podcast of how to make society richer the police force will get uh, you know in my case after so many years in this changes that are needed to be made and we are going to make it here at docha janata party so join us in 2024 would you like to stand ma'am from <laughs> thank you sirs the offer is very interesting but turn down you say from wherever we'll create the constituency wo hai bhi nahi wahan pe i'll make it my people are very good that they everywhere. thank you <laughs> Okay, as we say bye, we have these EMAs, people who write in. Okay, and uh, I mean it's really, uh, it's really a pleasure having you because we've had no one uh, close to you. We've of course had uh, another famous uh, police officer. I won't name him, but that was purely to do with the twenty six eleven and his story. Your stories are very different, but uh, unsung heroes. We have to sing more. So I think the movie has to be made. Who should play Mira? You select. But it depends Recommend. on who, how you see yourself, na. because uh, they have to be tough also because you're very smiley and friendly here but i'm sure there's an avatar which i would not want to meet because there's no way you would have as that journalist in chennai told me uh, the ferocity of uh, jailalitha or uh, you know when they come to the top that that side is there so you don't want to am i right ma'am uniform makes you changes you know, yeah, changes mm, badlav just got a second avatar bachchan film <laughs> cut to change in uniform and i said yeah correct <laughs> amazing um okay This is from Harshita. As a trailblazing female officer, what obstacles did you face? How did you overcome them in a male-dominated field? This is a generic question we've touched on already. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there anything else you want to add to it? No, I think we have. Yeah, yeah. I think you must be getting too much of this. You were on face show also, and then this whole thing being standing there for gender. After some time, you're like, "Boss, I have done what I have done. Read the book. Read the book." Um, could you share us from Sai? Could you share a specific moment of experience? or experience in your career that profoundly shaped your perspective or approach to law enforcement in the early days was there one i, I think those uh, dealing with the riots and all all that so uh, i would say that i never had any um, doubt about my capacity to investigate a crime because mm. i thought it's problem solving mm. uh, uh, what i had my own doubts were my capacity to handle public disorder Mm. and i think this incident where my car was burnt i was standing helpless mm. uh facing a mob but, but i couldn't even no action was taken because the whole mob is involved so you couldn't find the perpetrator who burned the car and destroyed your files and things like that no yeah but now we have cctv so it'll be a little better in today's right yeah we'll be able to it really even uh, we have our own staff my driver who was thrown out yeah. he could have taken a photograph with his mobile he would have been already <laughs> taking because he was be on insta while driving for sure <laughs> Ma'am, recently I had a fight with a biker coming up a one way. I have there all the time because they all break the rules. How do we stop all this here? They come up. The, the bikers are a menace. No one is talking about that one other menace in uh, urban India. They are on the pavements. They have to go through the one way. They go sideways. I mean, no, there's no way to stop them. You know, I asked the cops also that day. They said, "Abhi, abhi, wo bhag jaate." It's like that. You know, it's just not worth their while to chase a bike guy on a bike because he'll, you know, cut away. And <laughs> once I did that yeah? in Pune University area with mm. my car, with my official car, and uh-huh. I thought it was tough. And by the way, mm. the three boys who were on the bike mm. all belong to a, a family of uh, army officers. Wow! And the parents came. They thrashed the boys. We didn't have to touch them. Uh-huh. The parents were so angry with the boys for. Uh, Yeah. breaking uh, traffic rules and not to bring it up and also getting chased by police commissioner yeah 
Oh, so they did the right thing. Others, God knows what would have happened. But three on a bike first. Look at all the laws they broke. No helmet. Yeah. Three on a bike. No, no helmet, license. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. But I was happy that it was not acceptable to the parents. Yeah. So involving the community is the. But answer. not all parents. Some parents will say, "Okay, what's going on? What's going on?" You know, that's also there yeah. because I, a big problem we have when we stop these one-way guys is that they don't understand that this is wrong. They are saying, "You do this, you do that." That's kind of that's the response, and they don't say it sarcastically. They're like, "You know, this is okay. Here, like, this is not really a move. Only work. You don't look at these signs and all that." So I don't know where to start after some time, you know, because the whole sense of law we don't have sometimes. Yeah, that's true. how to start. What do we do? The British couldn't handle it. They ran. That's the truth. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Cyrus, are you planning to quit the country? No, no. I, in my own way, I love the country, but uh, you know, I've got a list of demands. Really, now, where will I go? <laughs> and where will your party go? Yeah, my party is struggling at the moment. We need funds. <laughs> uh, if you can ask any major party to give us some funds, then we can help that major party. That's one way for our party to go up. Also, I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, Harban says, if a movie gets made, ah, uh, we discuss this. Who would you like to? You didn't answer this question. Who do you like as the lead? To play. I, mean, I don't know. I don't watch many movies. You select for me. See, it'll have to be a contemporary actress. So that now you have to decide from that. Jo hai. So who should we go with? I feel uh, Deepika and all. Uh, I see. I, the person has to also, like I said, have that raw strength kind of thing. They can't just be, you know, good-looking heroine and all that. So Deepika has a presence. She has you, the you height. Like I don't have that presence. Height, height. So I, think even, that, I think you're being no, very nice here. If no, I, no, by no. chance, I had been caught by your constabulary and brought into the station, it would, my experience would have been different with you. So uh, I, I think that's not fair. But we need that uh, actress who can do both. You know, she has to become like that powerful figure at the right time and yet be the mother and the wife and the nice, friendly person we are seeing now. Uh, so who? We leave it for you. Send in your answers and you'll get a special <laughs> prize. You'll be on the set of the film to be made by the same director whose life she saved. <laughs> वो इतना मैच्योरिटी से उसने सोच के सोच के कहा कि लेट मी मेक अ मूवी ऑन व्हाइल द गाय स्टैंडिंग डाउन विद अ गन इट्स रियली लाइक दैट दैट्स व्हाट अ गाय बट व्हाट करेज यार वो समझ में नहीं आया लेट मी टेक हिज परमिशन नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल टेल यू हिज नेम नो आई आई थिंक इज ग्रेट यार आई जस्ट थिंक इज ग्रेट ही इज नॉट बॉदर्ड द गाय इज कमिंग टू किल हिम एंड ही वांट्स टू मेक अ फिल्म विद यू माय गॉड ही व्हाट डू वी सेंड साइनिंग अमाउंट एंड स्क्रिप्ट नरेशन भी करता है अभी फोन पे अम या आई थिंक ओ हेमिशा Uh, hi ma'am how does the force take care of food and food timings on duty yeah how do you so actually that's what we were discussing on the way with rachna that because their knowledge about nutrition is very poor mm. and they um, eat at odd times and eat more of carbohydrates uh, that's why you know you laugh at pot belly policeman mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but actually it's a police person who is not aware of good nutrition who is not able to eat in time and therefore yes now these days we run lots of camps for them about nutrition mm. but uh, community joining us in uh, improving our knowledge about nutrition and about the habits of eating in time which mm. sometimes is really not possible for us would help but uh, in america they would break at the right time my memory of america is that lunch breaks and all all done you can't change that in india there are no breaks You eat, but why can't we have the discipline? That six o'clock lunch, seven o'clock whatever the timings are, one o'clock lunch, whatever you know, whatever the timing is. But no, just Cyrus, just now you said that for six to eight hours they're standing on the road. But the time should be followed, no? Then the, their bandhu bus ends then. The next day has to come. So that won't happen, right? Now we don't so have eight hours shift. If we have eight hours shift, because people are so much, people are so much. Yeah, I mean we have enough, no? No, we don't have. But you're not allowing them to enter the uh, the police force. Why is it only forty thousand here in India in Maharashtra? Yeah, because Mumbai? and not only that. See, international standard of policing is two twenty policemen for one lakh of a population. And we are. We are one ninety on paper. Twenty hmm. percent vacancies everywhere in all the states. So we have about one sixty to one seventy per lakh, hmm. and that is the staff. One, you have less staff. Then you have overworked hmm. staff, and then you have staff. With mindless kind of duties. If the VIP entourage is controlled, we can feed every policeman in the city of Mumbai, for example. We can instead of having forty six cars, both petrol, diesel, manpower waste. हो जाता है ना पूरा दिन waste हो जाता है. That money I'll put aside for the canteen. Can I, I recruit this. you in police? I'm. This is common sense, ma'am. Common sense. I don't understand. I still don't understand why leaders need so many people to look after them. If they are powerful leaders, they should say, "मेरे को मत आना, मैं जाएगा." they should be thinking like amitabh bachchan in the 80s that should dial log should come <laughs> huh? and and if they have to they can see things like uh, bodyguard nahi chahiye mere paas maa hai 
I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've been joking around, but we have to wrap it up here. Let me quickly mention, you've also written two more books. You had what a colourful life you had and how much things you've achieved. So, uh, can I name those books? Please. Leaves of Life. Yeah. That's for the youth to yeah. motivate them. Hmm. And it has interesting episodes, 28. Then, uh, Lessons Learned and Action Points. Hmm. And Inspector Chogla is the second book. That's you would fiction. love that character. No, these are all true police stories, hmm. but simple ones. Yeah. Uh, and in case you are interested in police stories, that's the book for you. And both are available on Amazon. Everybody likes police stories. Amazon ko bhi plug kiya, ma'am. You're quite the marketing expert. Don't <laughs> worry. Beautifully done. Both subtle. Huh. But uh, we're talking about this book. Above all, this is the new release. A police commissioner. Very nice picture also. Uh, you, you have to wear the... Is it, if you don't have the hat on, it's like uh, the uh, incomplete uniform, right? Absolutely. Someone told me they can be penalized for that on duty if they don't have the cap on. Is yeah, it true? Yeah, yeah. You have to have cap. Full, head to toe. Perfect. This is, of course, our very formal uniform, which hmm. is, this must be taken on 26th January. Kind Function, of, such yeah. a... Oh, all right. Uh, there it is. Please uh, watch the story. Uh, Meera Chadda Borwankar, uh, very famous, known as Madam Commissioner because of two young girls in Pune who she helped. And uh, maybe some more books in the pipeline after this as well, since you seem to like I'll writing. I'll try, I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> Write up the podcast experience. <laughs> You are already so well known. Uh, what will my two lines do? No, no, yeah. How can you make uh, such sarcastic comments on Ashu? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a pleasure, ma'am, really. And I hope people go and buy this book and read your life and get inspired by all the I mean, it's it's a fabulous tale and, and I, take more interest in governance. And more females come into the business here. I, I feel women will save India. Should I scratch? Do you really mean it? No, I, I'm I, I'm a huge, I'm not a feminist, I would say, but I'm a big fan that if women run this country, it'll run better. Thank you. And I don't mean just politicians. I mean in MNCs and institutions everywhere, if there more females come to power. I feel we've tried men, we give them a chance. It's not khas to hai. So let's move on. Let's give the others a chance. And then every other gender. Because yes. woke culture. No, no, I really. Woke culture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Our pleasure.